just how high can the price of Solana go this cycle? Well, of course, predicting the exact top is not really possible. What we can do is we can look at the fundamentals, the catalysts that are driving already the remarkable Solana price surge. So let's extrapolate here. Let's draw some charts and let's end up with a bullish prediction as well as some interesting insights from a traditional investment firm that has a very bullish target for Solana. Look, Solana has risen like a phoenix from its bear market ashes. It was mocked. It was trampled. It was left for dead. It dropped 97% from its bull market highs. Ouch. Or as we say in crypto, a Tuesday. Indeed, as we will see, what happened to Solana last cycle was actually, and this is very interesting, very similar to what Ethereum had to experience the cycle before that. Solana has since the 2022 bear market lows almost fully recovered, coming within spitting distance of previous all-time highs per Solana. And when measured in market cap, it has already reached a new all-time high. That's because more Solana coins have entered the market. Now, what explains this steep rise, the interest? Well, if you've tried dApps on Solana since a Jupiter or Drift, then you know that they're fast and they're cheap. They're really easy to use. The apps look neat and they work as long as the blockchain is up and running, which it usually is. Usually. Also, the tools to spin up new meme coins are super easy and people are doing it every day, putting out thousands of new coins. There have been days in which more than 2,000 Solana meme coins were launched in a single day. That's insanity. All this has had the quite remarkable result that Solana recently replaced Ethereum as the number one smart contract blockchain by trading volume. And here's a chart from an Artemis dashboard. This is comparing daily active addresses. Solana is the green line. This, of course, just shows you that Solana, unlike some chains with a market cap in the billions of dollars, is not a zombie chain. On the contrary, it's hyperactive. The gray line in the chart, by the way, is Ethereum. So doing pretty well, but Solana's leading the pack. Speaking of Ethereum again, let's look at some remarkable similarities between Ethereum and Solana price. So let's compare Ethereum's last cycle to Solana now. They look pretty much like identical charts. I mean, look at this. It's crazy. The Ethereum chart from 2017 to 2021 and the Solana chart from 2021 to 2024, eerily similar. Here's the Ethereum chart from 2017 to 2021. It experienced a 94% drawdown. Not quite as bad as Solana, but... Uh, you know, no picnic for holders either, is it? Here's the Solana chart. They look, again, very, very similar. The main difference is that it took Ethereum longer to escape its brutal bear market doldrums than Solana has. Now, what can this tell us about a potential top for Solana in the current bull market? Well, ETH's previous cycle all-time high was about $1,400 back in early 2018. The most recent cycle saw a peak of $4,800. That's a 3.5x after breaking its previous all-time high. Another 3.5x in Solana's price from the 2021 bull market top would roughly translate to $900 per Solana. Not bad. Not bad, right? Now, what about our old buddy? Fibonacci. What would that tell us? Well, let's approach this from a technical standpoint with Fibonacci levels. Fibonacci levels are a pretty interesting way to get a good prediction of future price swings. So let's again return to Ethereum versus Solana comparison because the parallels are very fascinating here. When drawing a retracement for Ethereum from the 2018 top to the low, the highest Fib extension level, the 3.618, pointed at a price of, well, hold that thought, actually. This number is actually, it blew my mind, by the way. So you definitely have to hear this. But before pulling up this very interesting chart, a quick note that if you would have been subscribed to our free Wealth Mastery newsletter, then you would have heard about Solana's Fire Dancer upgrade already back in June last year well before the Solana bull run took off. By the way, the Wealth Mastery newsletter is not only including these kinds of great articles and information, but also regular money-making insights on airdrops, altcoin news, DeFi, deep dives on altcoins, NFTs, and much, much more. Join our 110,000-plus weekly readers and sign up for free 
using the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment on X. Now let's talk about this chart. Okay, into it. So it's insane what the number got to in 2021 for Ethereum, $4,884 per ETH. That's pretty much exactly what we got on the FIB lines. It's remarkable. It's mind-blowing. Of course, these levels don't always hit. Sometimes they fail, but it's still shocking to see how close that one was. Wow, almost to the dollar, in fact. So let's draw a similar retracement then for the recent Solana bull market top to bear market bottom and see what we get. Well, the 3.618 Fibonacci level takes us to roughly $950 per Solana. Interesting, we see confluence here between our earlier finding at a 3.5x comparable to what Ether did one cycle earlier, would mean a $900 Solana or a $950 Solana according to the Fibonacci. But what about Solana dominance in the crypto market? Yet another angle to view the market is how the dominance of a certain coin evolves with time. Here's the chart of Solana's market cap dominance, which is a bit of a funny name for a coin that represents just 3% of the total crypto market. I, the irony is not lost to me. But as you can see, it has recently broken out and gone past the old dominance top. Now let's combine this dominance trend with the trend of the market cap of the total crypto market as a whole. Analysts over at Bernstein have projected the overall cryptocurrency market cap could surge threefold to $7.5 trillion by the end of 2025. Now, this is not just Bernstein's figure. It's a fairly common ballpark number among analysts for this bull market. Some people are throwing out a $10 trillion number, but might be a bit of a red herring that number. Anyway, let's do some napkin, back of the napkin calculus here. So, the sole market cap is currently $85 billion at the time recording this video. That's, as we saw, 3.2% of the total crypto market cap. Should this percentage stay the same, which it won't, but let's just say it would, we would see a 3x from the current Solana price, so roughly a $250 billion market cap, or a Solana price around $550 to $600. The exact numbers, of course, depend on the inflation rate of Solana. Now, let's just spin up some slightly more bullish predictions than that. Only a year ago, the Solana dominance was actually much less than a single percentage point of the total crypto market cap. It has already done a 5x in just a year as a percentage market cap. Now, why couldn't it do, well, let's say just another... 2x, not even that big of a goal, okay? It's not inconceivable that 6.5% Solana dominance could happen, especially considering all the hype that Solana is getting right now, giving a $7.5 trillion total crypto market cap at the peak, the pico pico top top. That would imply a $1,100 to $1,200 Solana price, and maybe you can add another $300 should the total crypto market cap go up to the wildest, bullest, craziest predictions of $10 trillion, $1,500 per Solana in that situation. Interesting. If this sounds a lot like just pie in the sky, well, here's another way to look at the increasing dominance. Solana versus Ethereum. It looks a bit like a cup and handle, doesn't it? On the verge of a major breakout. Solana just printed an all-time high in ETH terms, and it looks like it could run even further. Let's see, of course, what happens. It's just a scenario. Obviously, there's no guarantees, but it's a framework for you to think about how we can look at this moving forward. But if ETH can do another 3x in this bull run, it's not inconceivable that Solana could do another 6x, is it? Really? Come on. What about the ultra bullish scenario? We can even, of course, consider here more bullish predictions, but maybe it's time to just breathe, cool off a bit. A few months ago, the approval of the US spot Ethereum ETF seemed very, very likely. Currently, it seems like the SEC is going to go fight this in court, so making it a lot less likely that's going to happen. If and when the Ethereum ETF domino falls, the road is open for other ETFs, with Solana potentially being one of the first in line, which could create some extra upward pressure on the price. As said, with the recent stance, the SEC is taking this whole process, it basically could all take a lot, lot longer and will likely require even a leadership change over at the SEC before we see an Ethereum ETF and then Solana ETF, Chainlink ETF, all that kind of stuff approved. And that's not going to happen before 2025 post-election in the USA. So I guess we can shelf this ultra bullish scenario potentially for now 
can always be surprised, but for now, let's put it on the shelf. So let's round up the video with the Van Eck prediction for Solana. Van Eck is a traditional investment firm with a rather rebellious streak. It has a long history of endorsing Bitcoin and being super pro Bitcoin and is currently, of course, one of the institutions that actually offer a spot Bitcoin ETF. They did a deep dive, which came out last autumn before Solana's price took off. Everyone called them crazy back then. You're crazy. Solana's only 10 bucks. This can never happen. Well, the author's contrast of uh, Solana's ambitious uh, hardware optimization approach to scalability with Ethereum's strategy of layers. Interesting take on it. Anyway, Solana's Fire Dancer upgrade is expected to go live in the fall of this year. Current expectation. And that promises a 10x in current throughput. Now I'll show you the chart where you can see if it's in a league of its own compared to some other big names in the layer one blockchain space. Kind of is, right? So here's the chart that visualizes the differences in throughput. This is, of course, very important. As in crypto, we would like to see a killer app that brings crypto to the masses. But to do that, you need massive amounts of cheap transactions. Okay, besides just the user friendliness and all that stuff, you need low costs, you need speed. It's an essential requirement. Solana is going to have that. Vanek's report also underscores Solana's focus on cheap block space as its potential to host diverse applications from financial service stuff to consumer products, uh, all that kind of stuff, which could significantly impact daily life for regular people. If, again, if a major crypto app really takes off. However, on a slightly bearish note, the authors also point to some trade-offs, of course, that Solana has had to make along the way in order to achieve its current success. It's great to offer low transaction costs, but how will Solana accrue value if transaction costs remain low? Another bearish point the authors make is if Solana will actually be able to attract developers to come into its ecosystem beyond just the current meme coin degeneracy that we're seeing. So the Solana virtual machine or the SVM is complex and creating applications on Solana is a challenging task. In fact, building is apparently such a pain in the butt. It's so difficult for developers that the founder of Solana, Anatoly Yakovenko, has likened it to chewing glass. Doesn't sound like fun, does it? You're one of those dreams, you're chewing glass? Weird. Anyway, so what's Van X's base case here? Well, the quote is, we apply Van X standardized valuation framework to Solana to achieve a token valuation of $335 in their 2030 base case. What? Only $335? Come on, guys. You got to up those numbers. What is that? That's chump numbers. Some traders, of course, for calling for a $300 Solana, not in six years, but in six weeks. Come on, Van Eck, let's go. Well, keep in mind that their research was done back when Solana hovered around the $20 mark. Now let's get their bearish case out of the way here. They predict a $9 bearish target for 2030 for Solana. That, of course, we basically admitting defeat. Solana has failed. And it would have been a failed experiment overtaken by other layer one blockchains that are either here now or soon to come. And maybe even the crypto industry as a whole has somehow just failed. Okay. So that's the bear case, but you want the bull case. The bullish target is $3,200 per Solana. In fact, their extremely precise bullish target is $3,211 and 28 cents. Gotta love the quants in this firm, which is interestingly about a uh, 3x from the 900 or 3.5x from our $900 price target. I know 2030 is a long way away. A lot of things can happen between now and then. Okay, so keep that in mind. Anyway, taking into account comparisons between Ethereum and Solana in the previous cycle and the trend that Solana dominance is currently in, a price target of $900 or more is not unthinkable. It's not that crazy. And as a blow off top, perhaps we even get over a thousand, maybe just maybe in the perfect scenario, an absolute peak number of $1,500. But that's uh, a lot will hinge on if the dApps and the meme coins and all that kind of stuff on Solana keep attracting users at the same pace that they have been in recent months. Will new use cases like gaming really be adopted in a big way on Solana? We shall see. We're keeping an eye out for you, of course, here on the channel. Thanks for watching.